Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, SHOT Show 2012 in Las Vegas. We're here with Rick Gardner from First Light. How are you doing today, Rick? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Excellent, excellent. This is actually a pretty cool guy. Uh, really interesting about him, he was actually the first one to use First Light in a combat situation. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, I was a Division Provost Marshal for 3rd Infantry Division in Iraq during the surge, and uh, a buddy of mine told me there was this light I had to check out. He sent me a Tomahawk uh, uh, light, and uh, I found it to be so uh, beneficial uh, to combat operations that I actually uh, not only got one for myself, but purchased it for my military uh, working dog handlers and for our guys doing base defense operations. And now you work for them. Now I work for them. So uh, we want to take a look at a couple products. Do you mind showing us some stuff? I would love to show you. All right. All right, here we have the Liberator STT in duty pouch. Simple Velcro enclosure, goes on a, goes on a standard duty belt. I'm going to talk about the functions of the Liberator. I'm going to walk you through the capabilities and then some of the functions. What's nice about the light is it's designed to go over the hand, over the hand instead of in the hand, uh, freeing up the light. It's ambidextrous, 180 degrees, both right or left handed. Everything is designed to think about officer safety. All of this handle is designed to break away. Uh, if you were to get into a tussle or get your equipment caught on something, this would break away. It's designed to break away on purpose. It's adjustable. Uh, at the handle here and here to make sure that the, it snit, fits snugly on your hand as it should. It also is designed to rotate at a 10 uh, degree increment or interval uh, for those guys that tend to roll their hand in and out. And we also have the ability to articulate it uh, left and right to make sure the light fits to your hand and is pointed where you need it pointed when you're working with the, uh, with the piece of equipment. So it looks like you actually have enough adjustability in there. You can fit a gloved hand in there. Yes, you, you definitely could do that. Um, Capabilities, just like the Tomahawk and our other lights, all our lights lock. Uh, to unlock, you merely push the two unlock buttons together. Once you get the green indicator, the light works. This light carries a few functions. It carries a momentary switch. Uh, it's a two-part switch. The, the edge closest to your hand will be the uh, momentary on. The portion of the switch further away from you will be your strobe. We also have a constant on with three settings, so the ability to cycle through. The intensities, once again, this light is smart. So if you set it at the lowest setting, shut it off, use the 120 lumen main bar, you turn the light back on, it will remember where it was set at. We also have the ability to filter that with red, green, or blue filters. Uh, if you need it for a tactical application, quick flip allows you to open that. We also have a task light in the tail. This is designed for checking IDs and those small things that you would do that would uh, encompass your hand, but you don't necessarily want to have to rotate and use a 120 lumen white light. The Liberator's hands enabling. What's nice about this is it gives you the ability to get a good seated two-handed grip without compromising the grip on the pistol. Merely actuating the, the light with the thumb, strobe with the thumb. If you need to do a reload or clear malfunction, your hand is free to accomplish that. The Liberator uh, works as a great primary light for those officers out there running carbines that do not have a weapons mount of light or is a great secondary light for those running a weapons mount of light. What's nice about it, once again, the hands enabling capability allows you to work and manipulate the weapon both in a forward grip or in a magwell hold and still have the ability to hold the weapon firmly to ensure accurate shooting. You also have the ability to quickly and rapidly reload or clear a malfunction without ever having to put the light off down or get back on target. Once again, once you put the weapon down on sling or put it down and go hands on the objective, you have the ability to do what you need to do, whether it's a search subject to an apprehension, sense of sight exploitation, or whatever the operation is, you have the light in your hand. Once again, the light gets put away when you no longer want it, not because you need the use of your hand. All right, Rick, thanks for your time. All right, thanks a lot, brother.